Welcome to Duxon Photography. We spend a month in Spain and I want to talk a little bit about my experiences with the cameras that I had with me and I want to talk a little bit now about the Canon 5D Mark I and I want to show you some images. I had three cameras with me. One was the Hasselblad H3D which you see here. All these images are taken with the Hasselblad. The Hasselblad is very expensive camera and a very unique camera. It's heavy, it's big, it's slow. It's very, very high resolution for the time. It's 39 megapixel. And when you take a look at this image, you see this car, for example. When you zoom in, you can even see the number plate here very clearly. And you can see a lot in the frame. Here's somebody up here that you cannot see from far away. So you, you could print this very large, get a really nice detailed image, even of the things that are very, very small on the larger scale. Now this was one camera that I had with me, the Hasselblad H3D. These images are edited. The other camera I had with me was the Canon 6D Mark II. And the third camera was, or is, the Canon 5D Mark I. Now all images here are taken with the 5D Mark I. And I made a selection. Here there are many, many images all taken with the 5D Mark I. And because I often take a picture several times, I thought I would just make a selection of these images and show you. And we can go through together the images. All images here are unedited. And I think it's it's very interesting what I'm going to show you now because the camera came out about 12, 13 years, years ago or even longer depending when you watch this video. And it did cost 3,000 euros here where I live in Germany. It is a professional camera, the Canon 5D Mark I. And when I look now on eBay today, I find one for 275 with lens for 250 euros and for 300 euros with a battery grip. Now this is 90% off the original price. Now of course the cameras are used and of course the technology has evolved into new areas. And when you look at megapixel, when you think about how, how deep I could zoom in with the Hasselblad, looking at the small people on the beach, this camera cannot zoom so so far inside the image because this has only 12 megapixels. But when you think about, for example, Apple and the iPhone, Apple has some huge advertisement prints hanging in big cities that are very, very large. And the iPhone maximum megapixel size is 12 megapixels. So this camera has the same megapixel size as the best iPhone, which is, in terms of photography, doesn't necessarily be too much, but I think it's enough for everything you do. You can print these images very largely, and um, I thought I would show you these images straight from the camera. So none of these images here are edited. You can see these are all settings set to zero. There is no change done. And I really, I'm really surprised every time I pick up this camera by the look and the color and the feeling. I feel that I don't have to do any editing here. I could leave this image as it is. And, and this goes to all these images. I don't think I have to edit anything. Uh, there are moments when I think uh, maybe I could crop it a little bit or make the horizon correct. Uh, make it brighter, make more contrast, make it warmer. But these are all very, very simple things. And I think that just from the look that these images have, I am really happy. And the, the strange thing is, I got many newer cameras that came out after this Canon 5D Mark I. And none of these cameras give me nearly, give me the look that this camera gives me or not not necessarily and I thought 
I will make this video. If you are a student or if you do not have so much money or maybe you're just starting out in photography but you want great quality, I can recommend buying an older camera but which is from a professional area. The Canon 5D Mark I is a professional camera and it was one of the top professional cameras 2005, 2006, 2007. People paid 3000 for it. Now you can get it for under 300. And when you think, well, how, how good can I edit these images? Well, let's take a look. I just edited the last four images in two different styles. Now this is unedited. It's a very natural style, very cold. We are here in Malaga, in the south of Spain, where it's always warm. And I edited in a very warm way, a little bit vintage with the, uh, with the corn so the image looks a little bit dirty. A black and white, classic black and white, and then the other, the images that follow, I did the same. One in the warm tone and one in black and white. The editing is done very easily, it's just a couple of seconds. Again, in warm and in black and white. And the last one, this is unedited, and in warm and in black and white. Now this is the, the cousin of my girlfriend, and this is another cousin of my girlfriend, and I'm still here with the Canon 5D Mark I. Now with the 50mm f1.2. And again, all images are unedited. And just look at the... Uh, sorry, I just... Uh, let me just check that all are unedited. Because I just went through them, and... Let me just do it like this. Now everything is unedited until this image. So uh, these are not models, this is just part of the family. It's Both are Anna's cousins, both are the cousins of my girlfriend. And we're here in front of the house of where my girlfriend lives and I took some images here of her cousin Anna Chris. And also here I'm very impressed with the image quality, the color, the look of the image. I feel there is nothing I have to edit. I can edit, but I don't have to. I could give these images easily to the person I photographed or to the person that uh, is paying for the images. And I don't see that I really need another camera but this. Now, if you're a professional photographer, uh, and I am, this is my main job, taking pictures. This is what I do every day. Now, I can buy any camera today up unto five or six thousand euros and that would be legitimate to do. I can justify that and I can pay that money because uh, I, all I need is a camera actually. So it's easy for me to buy any kind of gear. But if I would be, if I was a student or if I don't know if, if photography is what I like to do or if I don't make money with photography or if I don't have much money, if I, if I am working but I don't make much money, I can recommend looking on the market for an older camera like the Canon 5D Mark I or the 5D Mark II or the 60. I've seen the 60 for 600 euros, which is a great price. But this is, I think, one of the lowest prices of a camera that you can find. And when you look at the images, this is what you can get straight out of it. Now, I've used the 50mm 1.2 here which is an expensive camera. But from my experience, the 50mm 1.8 or 1.4 is as great. And it only cost 100. Now here is one, uh, the 50mm 1.8 is 100 euros. For Nikon it's a little bit more, but it's nearly, it's very cheap compared to the 50 1.2. And so from my experience, the difference is very small. You can get great images with the 51.8 and I necessarily don't need a 51.2. I bought one because photography is important to me. The 51.8 fell down. I thought, let's go for it. Now in the end, after I used the 51.8, after I used the 51.2, the difference I feel is very small. Again, I have some images here edited, just so you see what you can do with it. I don't think you need to edit this image at all. But 
let's just take a black and white. Very classy, very old with the grain. The grain you set here with effects. This is the grain, it's a German here, corn. And you can set it how you like. It makes the image look older, which for black and white might be very nice. A color image and another color image and then the next image. This is unedited, then black and white, a color one, another color one, unedited, or let me just check if it's, it's yeah, now everything is unedited. Now I feel this looks really nice. I could just maybe do it like this. That would be perfect. I like black and white. Black and white is very easy. It's just a couple of clicks, some color images, and I don't even think that the, the editing has done any good. I think straight from the camera might even look better than this. This might even look better, more natural. And this is crazy what this camera can do. And you don't have to. You don't have to go for a 3,000 some euros a dollar A7R 3 Sony camera or Canon 5D Mark IV. You don't have to. You can take great images with, with the 300 euro camera like this one. And I'm not a Canon fanboy. I use Canon because that's what I started with and that's what I'm, what I'm having now. But I think Nikon is has the same quality. I think other camera manufacturers have the same quality. I'm not saying by Canon, I just say that from my experience the 5D Mark I is an excellent camera with any prime lens no matter if it's the 100 euro 51.8 lens. You can get great images. All these images actually unless they are shot as f1.2 I could have gotten with the cheaper lens. This is 85 1.2. You can get the 85 1.8, which costs thousand five hundred dollars or euros less, and get nearly the same image as I did. Now, when I go to f 1.2, of course, that's a special look. You can get a really, really uh, emotional image with the f 1.2, and this is all all unedited, straight from the camera, the raw file. So maybe if you're looking for a new camera maybe instead of looking into the future, what's nice in the future, what's the next new thing, maybe it's also interesting to take a look backwards. What was the best camera in 2008? What was the best camera in 2010? I took, for example, all these images here in the church. I took with the 5D Mark I and with the Canon 6D Mark II with the new one. And I switched lenses back and forth, so I took this image also with the 6D and I like the images from this camera, the 5D, I like these images more. Although I used the same settings nearly, I did the same approach. How do I take a picture? That I, I had the same approach and this is the 5D Mark I and, and I think the images look, look very very fine. I don't feel the need, I don't actually feel I need anything more. Now I want more, of course, that's why I have other cameras, but what I need actually, I don't need more. This camera is, is already giving much. And I thought before I will go into the Canon 6D Mark II, which I used a lot, I thought let's go a little bit back in time, let's go a little bit slower instead of always going for the next new thing. Let's just take a look at what is there already that is great, that we can get very cheaply, and that we can use for what is most important, the image. So in the end, let me, th this is Malaga actually, just by the way, if I haven't mentioned it. I know there's some negative thing about buying an old camera. You might have uh, some dust on the sensor or some some spots on the sensor. This is all from the sensor, which means that on all images, when you shoot the sky, when you shoot a surface or something that is one color and not much texture, you will see very clearly these spots with an old camera if the sensor is not cleaned. I haven't cleaned the sensor and the, the camera is in Spain. I have this camera always in Spain. I don't there are some cameras I always have in Germany and some cameras I always have in Spain. The 5D is now in Spain and the Hasselblad is now in Spain. Just because I don't want to carry, when all the times I'm traveling, I don't want to carry 
all the time all equipment I have some cameras here and some cameras there now again some images edited and unedited this is unedited I think it's fine we can brighten up it a little bit up just like this that would be fine great image quality and perfect or we edit it like this you see it's it's just a taste this image looks fine it's I think it's very nice this is a little bit more edit no, it's not edited it's just a couple of seconds edit but it has this very different color look black and white I think fits really nice with all these uh, with the old it looks very old I think that the black and white fits really the scene here another one in color and to the next one I think this is a really nice scene it's a beautiful color it's warm it's exactly how it actually is in Malaga it's the south of, of Spain it's always warm. It's called the Costa del Sol, the coast of the sun, where and it's the most uh, sunny place in Europe. And an image edited in color here as well. Unedited, edited. I don't have to. I don't think that the edited image is actually better. It's just different. And you can, uh, you can edit. Editing is something very subjective. I can say this looks beautiful. Somebody else says the colors are all wrong. And so this is something that um, it's very difficult to discuss. Should the trees look like this, which is very unreal, or like this, or like this? You could call this boring. You could say an image that looks like the real thing is too boring. Let's change it. Don't take the sea and the yacht and the, the the. Don't take the part of the city like it is. Change it, the way you want it. Make it old. Make it look like from the 70s, Miami Vice style, or make it black and white. Make it look even older. So it looks like an image from the last century, maybe, with all these spots here on the sky. This looks really natural. You can print this, and look. This might look really old. So, I did this video because I took some images with the 5D Mark I, and I enjoy this camera. It's so, it's so nice to take images with an old camera and get great results. The feeling is so different. When you have an expensive camera, you expect great results. Of course, that's why you paid much money. But when you pay little money and get great results, it's something very very interesting because you get a really great feeling you you feel that you reached a level that actually you should you should not have reached because you didn't pay the price you didn't pay thousands you paid 300 for the camera and for the just 300 you can get these images isn't this great i think that is so great and now most images most of the time I use the Canon 6D Mark II, but before I talk about it, I thought let's just stop for a moment, look back in time. How was, or what was the best camera, or one of the best cameras in 2005? Let's try it out and see what we get. Unedited straight from the camera. And this is how it looks like.